Hello, hello, and happy weekend to you all. Thank you for hanging out with me for just a couple minutes as we uh, check in about the life of our church here at St. Paul's United Methodist in Ocala, Florida. Uh, first of all, a special thank you to Reverend Bob Piercy uh, for being with us or with you all because I was absent uh, this past Sunday. I am so grateful to him um, and for you all for welcoming him and allowing him to share the word um, with you all. So thank you, uh, Reverend Piercy, for doing that for us. This Sunday, as many of you are aware, um, is a special Sunday. Uh, it's got lots of different names and different connotations. Um, most know it as Undie Sunday, which is traditionally a Sunday where you all have brought in undergarments, I think is the proper term, although that sounds a little too weird to say that, but um, underwear that we'd collect and donate um, to those in need. Uh, this year, all of those items that are collected will be taken to Fort McCoy School. Um, they'll be um, handled by the staff there and some of their guidance counselors and, and resourcing folks um, and, and given to students that are going to be in need over the summer in a discreet fashion. So I'm so grateful that you um, have planned to make that a part of your everyday offering for the month of May. Uh, we will start collecting those this week. Um, different than the, lot, than, than the other offerings that we take monthly, this one is going to have a shorter time frame. Um, we ask that you bring those items no later than the 14th, um, no later than Mother's Day, because we need to get those uh, to Fort McCoy School in time for them to be distributed. And so with school ending in just a couple of weeks, um, we wanted to make sure that happened in a timely fashion. So thank you. Um, you also know that in conjunction with Undy Sunday, um, this is also a United Women in Faith Sunday. Um, this incredible organization, which was formerly known as United Methodist Women, um, is such an integral part of what it means to be the life of faith here at St. Paul's. We have incredible leaders within um, the unit here, our United Women in Faith unit. And so they're going to be leading most all of the aspects of our service this Sunday, and I look very much forward to their um, doing that for us. And so I'm so very grateful and pray that you would come with an expectant and hopeful heart uh, to worship this Sunday morning. Because of this, it had me thinking about the role of women in my own life, but more importantly, the role of women in my own spiritual journey. I think most of us would agree that without the leadership of women, the church would not be the church. Surely it wouldn't be the church that we know and love and that revere and respect. I know for myself, when I look back at my own faith journey, um, my own struggles and my own mountaintops as well as the valleys, God used many different people to, to help me through those times, to share with me, uh, to share with me the love of Christ. Uh, often it was compassion, other times it was leadership, sometimes it was uh, pro prophetic. Um, there's been women that have spoke truth into my life in prophetic ways um, all along my journey. As you prepare for this Sunday, where we are reminded of the most important role of women in the life of our faith journey, think about, give thanks for, be mindful of the women in your life, the women who have led you, the Sunday school teachers, the vacation Bible school leaders, maybe the camp counselors, your mothers, your aunts, your neighbors that were like family, the leaders around you that make sure that things happen, that speak both compassion and prophetically to help us as a church continue to minister, to love, and to meet our mission to make disciples of Jesus Christ. We happen to be in a faith tradition that doesn't just say we value women, but we mean it. We understand the role of women to not be limited by their gender. Uh, we have female clergy 
we have female leaders that we expect and invite into full leadership roles within our particular understanding of church as United Methodists. I give thanks for that. I give thanks for all of those wonderful women, clergy women, other leaders, United Women in Faith leaders that have shaped me, United Methodist women of the past who have led and helped me become the person I am. Would you join me in giving God thanks for the role of women, for their leadership, for their love, for their care, and for their shepherding of not just us as people, but how they help lead and shepherd our church. Grace and peace to you all. I look forward to being with you this Sunday morning, 1030 a.m. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.